Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Today another heat pump test. I have two ID3s here. This is my ID3 First Edition Plus without a heat pump. It has a PTC heater because in Germany First Edition Plus doesn't have a heat pump. And this is a First Edition Max with a heat pump. My, the car dealer where I bought my car gave me this car today to do the little test because this evening it should be minus 8 to minus 9 degrees and it's really where I live and so I want to see consumption. I will drive with both the same uh, trip at the same speed and then uh, with the same settings and in the end we'll look uh, what the difference in average consumption is. Important is that this car has the 0570 software and my car has the 0783 software so this is still old and also important this has the 19 inch Loen winter tires so the Loen is the rims 19 inch and this has uh, steel uh, rims and 18 inch so it's not the perfect test I know but I'm trying. <laughs> it's not hard to always find the exact perfect car but with heat pump and with how heat pump. But let's look at it. So those are the rims and the tires. Well, it's dirty. <laughs> Mine is the same way of the uh, Max, so the heat pump car. And those are mine. This should be black. <laughs> it's not black today. Like I said, 19 inch and different rims. 18 inch and steel rims. So we are in the first car, this is the MAX with the heat pump and uh, the settings I will use is driving comfort so the heat is not reduced in any way. I will put the car to 21 degrees, a more common setting for people um, and sync it so I want the whole car to be 21 degrees in the middle fan window and feet and seat heater to two and steering wheel heater on one. This will be my setting for both cars. It's minus seven right now. It was minus eight before. I hope this comes back. It's very possible that when I drive the other car that it will be a bit colder because it's then later at night. But like I said, it can't be always perfect. But I'm trying to give you a good, and so you can see, software version. Where is it? There it is. 0570. What the hell? Old software. I've noticed so many things. <laughs> so I'm on my starting point. I'm just a kilometer away from the highway. I will go on the highway and then drive with 90 kilometers an hour. I do that to have uh, not, a, not a loss of heat loss. By the way, minus 90 degrees now. Yay. Oh, of course. And uh, because of trucks. Today is Friday, so there can be trucks and if I drive uh, around their speed, I should be okay with not having to pass or have a truck behind me. <laughs> but we'll look at the average speed afterwards anyways. Yeah, camera. Um, good thing is, I can see already here that the battery heater is not on, so the battery is warm. Zero. And so I turn on my climate, like I said, in comfort and I reset my trip and then I go. I'm on my way and as you can see uh, the Max has the head-up display but since this car didn't have the update, the last update, it doesn't have the augmented reality part which is just the speed and the cruise control. I'm driving 90 like I said, constant speed will slowly drive when I have to, to turn around in Hengersberg and then drive back to uh, the exit here where I just came on the highway and then we look at the consumption, average speed and everything and hopefully I can keep this 90 kilometers an hour uh, the whole time. Come on, focus, that's better. Uh, minus 8 degrees. That's okay, it's better than zero or something and no sun. And by the way, last test, um, some people were thinking maybe the consumption difference was because my car was white and uh, the other car with the heat pump was black. But I've seen a test by uh, the German car club, whatever, <laughs> association and they tested in the summer different color cars and the temperature was the same in all of them. It doesn't matter if your car is black or white, it's the same heating up process by the sun. 
but I'm gonna go in this direction, I'm guessing around half an hour and then half an hour back. I just tested the sound system because the Max has speakers in the back and I can't remember, does the Max now have a subwoofer or not? I don't know, but I don't hear any difference. I'm, I know that song from Tool very, very well. I hear it, I listen to it a lot on, on, in my car and it sounds the same. Um, a few things um, about the heat pump in this car. So uh, I, had the, I have the car for well, for, I drove an hour, hour and a half, like this, something like that. And what I noticed with the heat pump is that, uh, first of all, it's loud. I wouldn't say uh, incredible loud, so it's not annoying. But when you're standing, uh, uh, so when the, when the car is parked and the, and the heat pump is running, it sounds like a, a, a modern fossil car uh, idling so it's 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 noticeable and uh, when the car is cold and the heat pump has to do a lot you hear the spinning up it's even louder and your steering wheel is vibrating and I noticed that with the with the ID4 as well when I did my my media drive at in Wolfsburg with the ID4 it was the same thing um, what I also noticed in here and which is weird by the way I don't have AC on because I don't need air conditioning if it's not wet inside if i don't know i do, do it with my car the same way if it's i didn't say that so in in my car when when there's no moisture in the car i don't turn on the ac why, why would I? I i don't get it i mean i understand it for what it is but but i don't need it but uh, again what what i notice by the way i changed the color so we can uh, see the different cars <laughs> mine is blue and this is orange the same with the with the, the ambient light orange and green but um, again what I wanted to say is that at 21 degrees the setting right now by the way minus 9 now um, it feels more warm in here than it feels in my car at 23 We'll see when, 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 when I do the, the, the run with my car on the same stretch, if I feel the same way as I usually do. But it feels warmer in here. It's not, I would put it to 22 in here, but not to 24. It would be too warm for me. This is interesting. And what I also noticed with the heat pump is, when you get into the uh, cold car with the heat pump, it heats up very well and, and you feel the warm air coming, but you notice the, 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 the change so when the when the temperature that you want is being reached and then the, 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 the heat pump is doing less you notice that that it's it gets more cold in the car I don't know I, I feel that's cold air coming in and and before it was okay and with my car I don't notice it but it could also be the temperature again I put mine to 24 um, but uh, uh, this car so far was 22 to 23 where it was comfortable. We'll see when I drive with the other car, if, if my car, if it's still okay with 21. Uh, it will be interesting. I just turned around. So it was around 41, 40, 40, 41 kilometers, took me 31 minutes. Average speed is good because I have to turn around and then I had to wait at a light for a minute. Consumption is 211 watt hours per kilometer. I haven't changed any settings. What I've seen when I started, I didn't put the car in heating up the whole, the whole car, just, just the driver, but I checked this already in a different video, power consumption of the ID3. You can watch it. <laughs> um, and this barely makes any difference. So it's not like in the Kona, when you have it in driver only, it's almost half of the consumption as for the whole car. It was just two or 300 watts more. So in, in my car then, without the heat pump, I will also drive in just for the driver. But, but the rest is still the same. 
I haven't changed anything. I have changed a few settings for the car, so the blind spot warning was so bright. So I turned this darker because I don't have this on my car. So it's neat to play around with things like that. Oh, and by the way, I had to pass two trucks so far. The first truck I put, passed with around 94, so I had to speed up to 94 and then back. And the second truck there was uh, to 98. But again, this is never perfect test, but I try to make it as uh, 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 perfect as possible to drive. So, so for two trucks for 45 kilometers of driving and, and the rest was this 90 kilometers an hour dead on. I think that's good. Almost there, another 10 kilometers, maybe less, um, and then we'll see consumption is going downhill, so consumption is getting less, that's good. And one important thing that I forgot to mention, I will not look at the state of charge, so I, both cars will start at a different state of charge, because my car has 14,000 kilometers on the car and this one not even eight. So the degradation of the battery is completely different. And so 80% could be different here than it is on my car. So that's just, I'm not gonna think of that. My number is see if the kilometers is the same, if the average speed is the same, time, all of those things and especially the average consumption. And 207 right now, uh, I can't remember what I had with, uh, I think with, with minus eight and a half degrees. By the way, it's changing all the time. I see minus nine and then minus eight point and a half, eight point half, uh, um, I can't say it. But uh, I don't think it went above that. I never seen minus eight, I think so. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Almost there. Then we'll look at the end consumption. Yeah, this truck just passed me. I'm driving 90 exactly, he's allowed to drive 80, well plus five, and then how does this, my speedometer is a bit wrong, so he should be, he should be, uh, he's too fast, <laughs> but that's okay. And that's what we have, 76 kilometers, 85 kilometers an hour average speed, 54 minutes, 197 watt hours per kilometer. To take a picture of that because I will forget, I know me. Good. Now go to the next car, already preheated my car, so uh, it doesn't take that long. I have to drive then close to the highway and then see that everything is warmed up. By the way, I noticed something in the max. So this part here that you can adjust, I don't have that. And I noticed when this is too far ahead and it touches your knee or your, your thigh, inner thigh, what is weird is that the seat heating feels like it only goes to around here and then this part is cold. So I put, and then I put it back fully in and it was fine. But when it was extended and my knee was, it was over this, so the inner knee, it, it felt, it didn't feel good. It was cold, but back like this, like the normal seat and it's fine. Time to give this car back. I just put the key in the safe that's there and then it's done. And then do the same test in my car. I already preheated with the app. So it's, it is on 21 degrees. I will drive up to the same part that we started and then see that everything is in the same setting. Everything is warm, battery heater is not on. And so the car is just maintaining the heat, not heating up the car. Then we'll see what consumption we get. Now I'm in my car and I'm at the same spot as before with the max. I look at my consumption just for heating and you can see battery heater is off because when I turn the climate off, only 400 watt. And I have the same setting, a window and feet, middle, 21 degrees, here eco, a seat heater on two, steering wheel heater on one, and I'm in comfort. And so battery heater is off, car feels warm, 
I think it's okay. Um, and I will now go the same route as I did before. So let's go. I'm on my way again. <laughs> now I'm driving in my car, 90 kilometers an hour, uh, uh, um, cruise control, and I looked at both cars with GPS. It's the same thing, 87 to 88, so it's the same speed. I have, like I said, my same settings. I'm driving in comfort. Heating is on. It's the same temperature even. It was minus nine. Now it's minus eight and a half. So it, it minus eight now. Uh, but it, it, I think it's the same temperature. It should be uh, exactly the same drive. With the other car, with the Max, I had to pass two trucks on the whole route. Like I said, one with 95, one with 98. Um, the rest, I was 90 exactly the whole time even though one time a truck was behind me and passing me I'll, and i'll see uh, how this r r run will turn out i'm almost at the turnaround point still a few kilometers and i have to say i was totally wrong <laughs> Of course, what else? Um, so at, with this setting, the 21 degrees and fan in the middle, it feels totally warm in here. So it, there's no difference. I didn't feel warmer. I even have to say, I feel my, my feet are a bit warmer in this car than in the other. I don't know why, but other than that, I feel totally comfortable in here. I would even put the heat down right now, and I mean the fan, especially to the feet. My feet are really warm in, 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 this, in my car right now. <laughs> it's totally unusual. Normally, I don't, I don't drive in comfort, and I, uh, so in eco, so that the heating is reduced, and maybe, but, but maybe that's for nothing. Maybe it's not a good idea to do that. Maybe you don't save anything. I don't know. I have to try it a few times to go to work with that setting and see. But my feet are totally warm. Maybe Eco is better. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes. And I listen to music again. And again, I don't hear any difference. Yes, there are no speakers in the back in my car. But the Max has speakers. But it sounds the same. And I personally don't need speakers. I, I get why people are mad, though, that a car for that amount of money should have speakers in the back, but my god, that's how it is. I just turned around. And let's see, <laughs> the other car was at this point at 211 and I'm at 222. Hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> That's 10 watt hours per kilometer more, or one kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. Aha, uh -huh, we have a, it was 42 kilometers before us, so the, the run, was perfect. I didn't have to slow down or accelerate once. Even now, the truck that I just passed, I could do it with 90. Um, and I didn't have to wait at the light uh, um, when I went off the highway. So this was different. Um, otherwise, again, I say it again, my feet are really warm <laughs> in my car. That's so unusual. I'm not used to that, but I'm not used to those settings. Usually I play around with them. When I'm cold, I turn it up, of course, and I never drive in comfort. So this is the only difference. But overall, the car feels nice and warm and comfy, but my feet are too warm. It's so unusual. I would so turn it down now. The, uh, in, in the Max, I would have turned it down to the fan, but I wasn't hot. I was, I was okay with it. That's yeah, a difference. Huh. And we stop. Okay. 
Okay, what do we have? We have this, I have to take a picture so I can show it later. So it's a few days later at home, I have to redo the ending because my conclusion was completely wrong uh, because I miscalculated. I'm an idiot. My patrons uh, told me that when I showed them the video first and I said, hey, maybe you have a bit of a calculation error in there and yes I had. <laughs> so let's redo the ending. Um, as you can see the heat pump car took average consumption was 197 watt hours per kilometer and my car without a heat pump 221 watt hours per kilometer. But what is important is that the heat pump car drove 76 kilometers and mine 74 even though it was exactly the same trip and I think it's because of the tires 18 inch tires and 19 inch tires and that means that uh, there's a difference uh, of 2.7 percent that we have to put on the heat pumps car consumption and so the new consumption is 202 therefore the difference between those two cars is 19 watt hours per kilometer by the way cool on the pictures both cars were warm when I took those pictures and my car takes four and a half kilowatt and the uh, heat pump car two kilowatt but mine uh, and and this is another thing I want to talk about this is why I want to adjust the consumption yes the heat pump car has 18 inch tires but it's also 60 kilograms more heavy so because heat pump, uh, the, the, the Max has a panoramic roof and has the uh, head-up head display. All in all, it's 60 kilograms heavier. Um, and But what I said in the video all the time about my car, it was too warm with the 21 degrees. I would have turned down the heat to have the same experience while driving. And because of that, I take two watt hours per kilometers off and I say we have 17 watt hours per kilometer difference which is 8%. That means the range on the heat pump car at this speed, at this temperature would have been 287 kilometers and on my car 264. That's 22 kilometers. That's 8% at minus 8 to minus 9 degrees. I think I saw minus 7.5 degrees once but really cold. And so uh, you see this is my conclusion, this is what I have tested. It could be different in at zero degrees. We did the test uh, at, at around zero degrees the last time when Knut was here with his Max and he had the same winter tires that I had and uh, we had 1.3 kilowatt hours different uh, consumption, so 13. That's even less then. But as you can see, uh, it's still the same conclusion to me. For me, the heat pump is not worth it in the ID3. Maybe they can still ad adjust this with software somehow. I don't know. But as so far as it is, uh, so as it is right now, uh, um, for me, the heat pump is not a factor that I would need in my ID3. That's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.